can be it. I think that's better, right? Than being all in our in our little bubble, feeling happy, not fueling dog shit, and then disappearing or dying as a species because we fucked our our entire planet. I okay. think that's the essence of my argument or my mindset. Okay. I understand, but it's still it's overly optimistic because you're assuming that it's going to result in saving the planet, and you're also assuming that the people who are propagating these ideas have the intention of saving the planet. And what I'm saying is that people come along. What you have to understand is every single government on the face of the planet is trying to gain more and more control. They want to be totalitarianistic. That's what they want. The only reason they don't is because the people will not accept it. It comes along. It comes to a point where there's people who will revolt. So they need an excuse to get away with certain things, right? I, I know we're not allowed to talk about it on the stream, but in the last three years, they had an excuse, which they invented, which allowed them to do things that were unprecedented and never did them before. And what I'm saying to you is that they will come along and talk about climate change. They will say yeah, that sea levels about? are going to rise and that we're all going to die. Well, I mean, they are rising. I mean, quite okay. literally. Yeah, cool. Uh, you say they're rising. That's fine. The sea levels are going to rise. At the same time, they will buy beachfront mansions. Oh, COVID. I'm so sorry. It's been reason. three years already? They buy beachfront mansions all over the globe. Wow. It doesn't seem to bother them. If sea levels are rising, the first ones are going to go, but that's, that's what they crazy, buy. That's crazy, bro. And then they come along and say, you can't fly anymore. We have to put up the price of flights, and you have to pay more taxes, and we have to add more tax to your fuel. Well, they continue to fly around on private jets doing whatever they want. And you're saying that it's going to result in them saving the planet. And I'm saying, no, it's an excuse and a smokescreen that they allow the media machine to propagate so that they have an excuse to get away with things that they wouldn't be allowed to get away with any other way. They have to scare you to take things from you and they'll scare you with something. So they'll scare you. The planet's going to die and then they'll take your money away and they'll take your freedom away. Just like it's, it's the oldest trick in the book. They find a way to scare you. They find some kind of big event, some enemy, and they find a solution. Don't worry. The common cold's going to kill you now, we've decided. But if you stay in your house and you lose your business, then you'll be okay. It's bullshit. Mm. There's always an ulterior motive because if there wasn't an ulterior motive, they wouldn't do it at all. The government doesn't actually, on any level, give a shit about anything else besides control. If you think there are people inside of any government on the planet who actually sit there and genuinely give a fuck about what's going to happen to the earth in 100 years, you are I wrong. Okay, they don't, I mean, don't children me. Uh, already, I, I mean, you're children horsing. I feel like this is another one of my great political takes. I'm such a political person. I I think um, um, government sometimes in some areas um, they they want and kind of need control because they kind of know better sometimes, um, especially when it comes down to like health and whatnot, right? If people me if if, if forcing vaccines or whatever keeps people alive in some way, I, I feel like, I mean, they, they should uh, exert their control that they have or whatnot in the, some ways, right? Wait, so so I, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 I was say, so you're basically saying if the vaccine's proven to basically save lives that we should be forced to take it, is, is that what you're saying? Um, In some capacities to partake in, in, in most things. I don't yeah, understand I, those I, words, just yes or no. I mean, you can't ask a yes or no interrupted question, it doesn't make sense. I'm asking well, I'll you. Tell you all right, I'll go tell ahead. you why. Go ahead, Andrew. Go I'll ahead. You. Sorry, Andrew. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'll tell you why you're absolutely not really wrong. Because you're still operating inside the paradigm. Oh. You're saying words that you don't understand don't mean anything. So you're saying if the government have proof that something works, well, the government make the proof, right? The, the government decides yeah. what the proof is. So stage one is the proof is bullshit. Whatever they want it to say, it's going to say. That's the so you're saying thing. that you're saying that um, whatever what you're saying is that. If we didn't have those controls and those big grip and those claws in our fucking skin by the government, right? <laughs> we, the fuck? And people didn't get vaccinated for most things, then we wouldn't have. So you're saying what? If we still wouldn't have like polio and shit, like we wouldn't have like all, I'm all not these, these I'm not, diseases wouldn't come back, right? They wouldn't come I'm, back because it's science, and you don't believe in that, do you? I'm not saying that, and I'm not saying I'm I'm particularly anti-vaccine. The point I'm making is that I do not want anarchy. Obviously, yeah, who's vaccinated here? I'm vaccinated. I got the Pfizer. What I'm saying to you is that a government could come along print any piece of paper they want, call it, it a scientific study, and use Ooh. it as an excuse to do whatever they decide. And mm. for you to sit here and say, well, I have enough faith in them and they know exactly what they're doing all the time, you're going to end up regretting that because they come along, they print a piece of paper, they say, follow the science, follow the science, follow the science. They then have an ulterior motive, which they inflict upon the populist mm. with some excuse. And the last few years has proven all of this. Because because where where is the threat now, right? Threat gone. I don't know why I can hear my echo. Can anyone else hear my echo? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's low, so he's on speakerphone, bro. No way. I think it's Kai. It might be me. My fault. This AP is loud as fuck. It might be Kai. Okay. 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 Good now? We good? Uh, when you sit I and say think, that it should be mandated, I want you to understand that that is actually a very, very dangerous mindset. No, can, no it's okay. And the reason dangerous. that it's a well, dangerous mindset, because you are saying that people 
now belong to the government the same way a cow belongs to a farmer. You're saying that you no longer have any sovereignty over your own blood. You no longer have any sovereignty over your own body. And if the government, with their printed piece of paper, hey, decides it's better for your blood to contain a chemical Andrew, that you don't want it to contain, you Andrew, must accept it. Andrew, Andrew. Um, okay, so if you don't want to put it into society and stay at home and you want your blood to remain a certain way, I, the government doesn't give a fuck about that. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong with that. They don't give a fuck. The, the minute, the minute where your freedom impedes on somebody else's freedom, the minute where your blood being a certain way can impact directly, not indirectly, directly somebody else that harms them, then your argument falls apart immediately. It's a black and white thing where the second that you cross that line, your argument disappears entirely. Okay, if so you the, way, have, the way that works, if I, if I go outside with my blood a certain way and I cough on somebody, and they get sick and they die, and it's directly because of me, right? Then what does it say about that then? What happens then? Right. Well, what happens then? Do you, you say, well, I mean, I want to have my blood thrown away. Yeah, but that other person, they want to have their blood the way you, you want it, and you just fuck them over. So how, how is that fair for them? They want their well, blood thrown away, and you altered theirs because of your dog shit. How is that fair for them? Well, once again, you're wrong, and I'll tell you why. Okay. I understand, I understand your argument, but I'll tell you why you're wrong. Firstly, because we're talking about vaccines specifically, let's stick with vaccines. If you have the vaccine and it mm -hmm. works, then you haven't got to worry about who has it and who hasn't got it, right? If you have the vaccine and you're still concerned about other people not having it, then it's not a very good vaccine, is it? What? So that's that's that, that is not how that works. That is not how that works. That is not I'm how sorry. that Can works. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? I'm Look sorry. Look up in something called the herd immunity. It's like the, the, the core concept of a vaccine. Wait, could it's you just a simple fucking that? thing. Please, I'm sure. Sorry. Sure. XQC's argument was that if my freedom impedes on the life of other people, then I shouldn't be allowed to have the freedom. And his argument was that if I don't get the vaccine and I cough on someone and make them sick, then I am responsible for that. And that's why I shouldn't be allowed outside. And I replied saying no, because it is my choice if I want to be sick by this disease. And if anybody wants to get the vaccine, they can get it. If they have the vaccine, then I can't make them sick unless the vaccine is ineffective. So what I'm saying is if I'm the last bro. Listen, Listen, please wait. understand the logic. Please understand the logic. You're saying that I need a vaccine to protect vaccinated people. That doesn't make sense. If they are vaccinated, they're protected by the vaccine. It doesn't matter if I'm vaccinated or not. Unless the vaccine is ineffective, in which case I do not need the vaccine. They, they that can sense still get sick, though. They can still get sick. What kind of logic is that? We're talking, about a We're talking about vaccine for a specific thing. That's the first thing. Second thing, the idea that sovereignty can be absolutely not really destroyed by a government because they can print a piece of paper that says certain things is a dangerous idea. And I know for COVID or whatever, it seemed to make a lot of sense to people who couldn't think outside of it. But it's a very dangerous idea to come along and say the government owns you. They decide what's in your blood. They decide where you go. They decide when you're allowed at your house. They decide when you sleep. They decide what, how, if you're allowed to make money or not, who you talk to, whether you cover your face or not. If you see your own parents dying in hospital, they control all of that. And it's for yeah, your sake. Can I ask yeah, you? Yeah. Can I? Can I, can I okay, okay. I, can I ask you a real quick question? The um, science doesn't agree with you. I don't think anyone. Real quick, real quick. Um, what? So no, I just got a text from somebody. I mean, I just want to hear what you have to say about XQ. Someone said, "Bring up Aiden that people are still getting sick with the vaccine." So what? No, no, I, I, I didn't say that. I, he said that. I got a, I got a quick question. Yeah. So quick what? One. I got a quick one. I got a quick one. Are we gonna talk about anything like interesting at all? Because I don't know what the <laughs> hell this is. <laughs> this is could be the most boring thing I've ever heard on Twitch. Period. I, I Kai, mean, look, how, look at Kai. Look how bored I, Kai is. I, I, know, I was thinking that. Bro. I was thinking that. Bro. I, 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 like, what? like at this bro. point, bro. I'm trying to. T I, I want to talk about some freaky shit yeah, like can sex. We? You know what I'm saying? Like, what they want, bro? I'm getting started. Like, time, 